Okay, this is a homemade carb heat switch. Excuse all the uh, junk in the back. Basically, this is a couple of pieces of brass tubing and a um, steel rod that came from the hobby store. Bent the uh, steel rod in a U shape and put it through those pieces of brass tubing, connected it up with a uh, pipe fitting. Um, and then stuck the rod at the front, uh, melted a knob onto the end of it, and put it on a piece of uh, one inch by one inch aluminum angle. So, now with it all glued together, there's the magnet on the end, there's the reed switch glued on, When I slide it in, trips the reed switch, push it out, it's gone. So now all I gotta do is wire it up and mount it up and off we go. Hello simulation builders. I wanted a carb heat switch for a Cessna 172 simulator and there really wasn't anything out there that I liked. There are some little switches, little push-pull switches, and I use this for the uh, alternate static, but I just really didn't like it for the carb heat. I wanted something that was much more like what's in the real Cessna 172 that I fly, um, which is something that has about a two inch pull on it. So I made one, and I'm gonna show you how. Carbs, here's carb heat, it just pulls out, it's on a little rod, and it turns off and on the carb heat on FSX.